What's up guys, I'm back at it with the Mark II. Let me show you guys what I did. So, I got me some Mercedes-Benz Sprinter wheels. These here are 16 by six and a half with a 54 offset. And I finally fine-tuned where I want the wheels to be sitting. So that's why it's on the wood. And in the back, I'm gonna be running a, uh, actually the, the full tire setup I'm gonna be running is a 165, 45, 16. So my spacers that I finally dialed in, I wanted to make sure I can see what I liked. So I have a 42 mil spacer in the front and in the rear, I have a 53 millimeter spacer in the rear. So I'm gonna take this off. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how they look. I'll probably do the rear. I'll show you either way. So again, there's the front. Oh, the dog's barking. And then here's the rear. front view of it and here's the rear right there at the edge oh you know what i should show you guys this hold on let me see if i get the tool for it hold on all right so here's a cool tool put it behind it pop the cap off so let me show you guys what I'm working with up here. Dog Katana. Hang on. So, it's a six lucker. Yep. Six on. Six on. Six by 130. Uh, there's specs on here. I'll get close to it. Uh, six and a half. Right? 16 by six and a half. E254. Got the all part numbers and whatnot. Sweet. So I'll show you guys really quick. Uh, I have extra lug nuts, um, and I re-tap these to M14 by 1.5 because these factory Sprinter lug nuts actually have a lip on them, and the lip is on there because if you see the cap turning around, it's actually got a, a, a bead in it. Uh, you can kind of see it. So the way that these work is the this seats to the uh, lug nut. So when you put it on, right? And that's why I only have the two. So there it is. And this, I use an Allen key. Just go from behind and pop it off. There it is. Clever. So here's the space, or the adapter, sorry. I keep calling them spacers because I'm used to it, but that's the adapter. Six lug, four by 100, 57.1, clears the caliper and the pad. It's like, I believe this is six inches. So it kind of gives you an idea of what I'm gonna be running with. Look at 42 mil thick. There it is. All right, so. Here is the 48 millimeter with the five mil spacer. So that's where the 53 came from. These were originally in the front, but I felt like they were too much. So I threw this in the back. Originally I was gonna run a 60 and that I felt like it was too, too close to hitting my fender. So I've sucked it in a little bit. Plus the tires aren't gonna stretch as much, which is fine. I kinda wanna go less stretch anyways. So um, I had this five. 48 so that gives me 53 and then with the hub size on both of these um, they were just printed so it just kind of gives you an idea you know just so I could get the visual um, I'll get the correct size for the um, hub on the uh, Mercedes wheels I think it's like 84 something I gotta double check but so um, and then as far as the mounting for the 4x100 um, depending on whoever makes my adapters, you know how it, it's gonna run close to this. So I don't know if I'll run a bolt or if I'll run like an Allen bolt because the Allen bolts are, the, the heads are a little bit 
a little thinner, so that'll give me more meat on the adapter, but that'll be whoever is up to making the adapters. So, there it is, it's kinda cool, gives you an idea. 42, and then here's my 53. So, now I just gotta find somebody to make them. All right guys, so I'm putting the, I'm the wheel spacer dude. These are my 20 mils right now, going with my wheels I got now, going back on. These are gonna be up for sale pretty soon. I expect these out in one of my videos before, but they're just a knockoff Schmidt with some custom center caps, but I'm gonna end up getting rid of these. Full set, the tires are great. They're made in 2018. They're a 165, 50, 15. So if you're in SoCal, I'm in Riverside. Um, I'm gonna get rid of these things. Um, after I get my wheel set up, th that's why I gotta make sure this, this adapter set up and um, make sure that uh, I could get the adapters made. Once those adapters are made, then I know I'm committed to these and then I'm gonna get rid of these. So they literally, these tires have less than a thousand miles on it. This is the weekend car, so anyways, let's put this back on. Thanks again for watching, guys. It's kind of a quick video, nothing special, but kind of show you what I'm working with. Till next time, we'll see you guys, thanks.